I'd like to call this regular meeting of the Raton City Commission to order. Desiree, could we have a roll call, please? Sure. Mayor Sagata? Present. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster? Present. Commissioner Chavez? Present. Commissioner Giacomo? Present. And Commissioner Chatterley? Present. Y'all please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, Indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Recognition of visitors, citizens, and that. See no one. Our next regular commission meeting will be Tuesday, October 26, 6 p.m. here in the chambers. And we do have a proclamation, Domestic Violence Awareness Month. Whereas the month of October 2021 has been declared as the Domestic Violence Awareness Month and whereas the crime of domestic violence violates an individual's privacy and dignity, security and humanity due to systematic use of physical, emotional, sexual, psychological and economic control and or abuse, including abuse to children and the elderly. And whereas the family violence results from the use of force or threat to achieve and maintain control over others in intimate relationships and abuse of power in society fosters battering by perpetuating conditions which condone violence and only a coordinated community effort will put a stop to this heinous crime. And whereas domestic violence costs the nation billions of dollars annually in medical expenses, police, court costs, shelters, foster care, sick leave, absenteeism, and non-productivity, and whereas the Raton Alternatives to Violence and other agencies throughout the state of New Mexico are working together to provide effective intervention, prevention, community education, and support to build a non-violent family environment in our city. Now, therefore, do I, James Neal Sagata, Jr., Mayor of the City of Raton, New Mexico, do hereby proclaim the month of October 2021 as Domestic Violence Awareness Month. In witness whereof I have here until you set my hand and seal and cause the seal of the city of Raton to be affixed this 12th day of October 2021. Okay, nobody's no here, so we will get that to them. All right, items from citizens present. If anyone is here wishing to address the commission on anything that is not on the agenda, may do so at this time. You're good. You're on the agenda. <laughs> okay, seeing none, we will move on. Item 6A, deliberate and act on approval of minutes for regular meeting held on September 28, 2021. Should have had a chance to go through them. What's that no discrepancies? I will move to approve the regular meeting minutes of September 28, 2021. I'll take it. Motion and a second to approve the minutes of the meeting held on September 28, 2021. Any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item B, deliberate and act on event forms. Raton Main Street, safe trick-or-treat. Mr. Berry. Uh, Mayor Commission, we are going to talk about a couple of Halloween-related uh, events uh, that staff has been working on with uh, some of our local groups here, and we'll start with the uh, Rat Town Main Street Safe Trick or Treat. This is an event that uh, uh, has happened in previous years. I do have a description of the scope of event here that I'm going to read to you and to the public. Uh, Ratone Main Street and the Ratone Police Officers Association are happy to continue our 12th annual community tradition by once again sponsoring this year's safe trick-or-treat event. The event will be going back to our original way of doing it where the trick-or-treaters will walk down the streets of Ratone and visit participating businesses. The RPOA will sponsor a costume contest for boys and girls at Ripley Park at 3.30 p.m., and then the event will end at the Elks Lodge where the trick-or-treaters will receive a hot dog and punch. Uh, Mayor and Commission, uh, <clears throat> this event will take place uh, on October 29th, as stated, beginning at 3.30 and expected to wrap up in 6 p at 6 p.m. It will generally con consist of a lot of uh, pedestrians, a lot of small children throughout the downtown area. Uh, this is something that we are familiar with. You can see that staff has uh, reviewed 
uh, the event and our recommendation to the commission is for your approval. All righty, thank you. Any comments or questions for Mr. Barry? Seeing none, I'll entertain a motion. So moved. I have a motion and a second to approve the event, Raton Main Street Safe Trick or Treat. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Lions Club and RPOA Halloween Maze. Mr. Barry? Uh, Mayor and Commission, we have a couple of things going on here. We want to talk specifically about the Halloween Maze. I believe that Ratones Lion Club uh, and RPOA are also working on a uh, haunted house uh, that we can talk about. We do have Adela Garcia present here uh, from the Lions Club to answer any questions you might have or present information um, on the uh, event, but specifically uh, on the Halloween maze. Um, I'm going to uh, call Adela up and we can talk about the specifics on it, but uh, the proposal is uh, for October 31st. Uh, this is for uh, children, small children specifically. Uh, the times are 2 uh, to 6 p.m. And uh, one thing that's uh, happened during the discussion of the review of the event, and Adela, correct me if I'm wrong, but the uh, the Halloween maze would be constructed from hay bales or straw bales, and it would be constructed uh, at the multimodal area uh, in the grass area. Correct. Am I correct? Near, near the uh, art gallery. Cool. So we are not uh, contemplating a street closure okay. for this event. Cool. We'll take and it won't be very big. It'll you know just kind of small, just for the little kids to sure. to make it through there. It sounds like fun. I yeah. stand corrected, Marty. <laughs> any any other questions or comments right now or mr Burr? i think it's going to be a great event yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so we are working with the group uh for a uh, uh a haunted house and the the doggy styles building yes sir. and that will now take place over two uh successive weekends correct, correct. the 22nd and 23rd from 8 to 11 and then the 29th, 30th, and 31st, also from 8 to 11. Cool. And uh, it's going to be in the basement of Doggy Styles by Kathleen. And uh, we're going to have characters walking around uh, outside as well, dressed up. I uh, have already spoke to independent writers for, like, crowd control, just so they can be walking around as well. And then, of course, in the basement, we'll have lots of characters, lots of spooky things and i dare you to we're gonna have a trial run this saturday at seven and i would like to invite all of you to go and and uh, see what you think cool and we'll be doing that at seven this saturday okay so that's that's probably a little more you know uh, uh, above the level of the small children uh, kind of a different group and we will on, on both of these events and the previous event uh we will you know our city emergency uh, services will provide the life safety inspection of everything that we're talking about so uh, uh, josh from the fire department has already gone once and inspected it and he will also be there saturday evening to make sure that everything that uh, he suggested we do gets done okay and you nice. do have staff recommendation for approval of okay. uh, these halloween events as well all right. I, I will move to approve the Lions Club and RPOA Halloween Maze and um, Haunted Dungeon. I'll second. Motion and a second to approve. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Very good. Good girl. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. So, hope to see you Saturday, if mm -hmm. you dare. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you might. And when does that C's chocolate come in? I'm sorry? Now, oh. Since we have your attention. The C's chocolate? Uh, you have till the end of November to order. And then it comes in the first part of December. Okay. I think I ordered. Okay. I I well, thank you. That's on our website, Lions Club. Yeah. Okay. And I put it on Facebook and everything, so... <clears throat> Cool. So thank you. You bet. Thank you. Thanks,
All right, item C, introduction of ordinance enacting and adopting the 11th Supplement to Ordinance 940 for the City of Raton, New Mexico, and declaring an emergency. Mr. Berry. Uh, Mayor and Commission, uh, you do have an introduction uh, of the ordinance. We'll have to get the number from the City Clerk as we move this forward. So this would be the introduction uh, enacting and adopting a supplement to Ordinance 940 uh, for the City of Raton, New Mexico, and declaring emergency. A couple of things. Uh, ordinance 940 is the codification ordinance originally adopted in 2005. This would be the 11th supplement to that. Uh, the term declaring an emergency would allow this to become effective immediately upon approval by the City Commission. That's not happening tonight, but ultimately uh, it would be scheduled for a public hearing and uh, set up for your adoption at a subsequent meeting. All righty. Any questions for Mr. Berry? No. Nope. This is the introduction, so we would entertain a motion to introduce this ordinance. I make a motion to introduce the ordinance. I have a motion and a second to introduce the ordinance, enacting and adopting the 11th supplement. To Ordinance 944, the City of Raton, New Mexico, and declaring an emergency. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item D, deliberate and act on purchase of Police Department CAD system utilizing CES contract number 2021-29, S111-ALL, and a Approval of SHI International Corp software license and support agreement, Mr. Berry. Mayor Commission, you recall uh, back in the uh, 21 legislative session, we did <coughs> ask for capital outlay for police uh, equipment and modernization of, uh, of uh, police department. And uh, we did receive some funding. It wasn't what we had asked for, but we did receive 70,000 dollars of funding from the legislature. Uh, subsequently, we did receive a grant agreement and we are uh, uh, clear to go ahead with procurement for that. Our biggest need right now is replacement of the computer aided dispatch system uh, that we utilize. The system that we have is, is uh, antiquated as has, has been a lot of the uh, systems that we had over there when we started this modernization program. Uh, this is an important one um, and you do see the price. It's $104,000. Um, I can tell you this, 4000 of that uh, is a fee that is associated with the purchase off of the Cooperative Education Services uh, contract. So you see that CES contract uh, <coughs> referenced there, and uh, the $100,000 uh, I think is a very favorable price for the city of Raton. In a different circumstance, uh, this could have been upwards of well over $200,000 for this. So I think this firm uh, is SHI, and they're proposing uh, the Pro Phoenix uh, CAD uh, software, as you see uh, detailed there. Uh, they're really giving Raton favorable pricing on this at the $100,000. Um, however, we do have $70,000. Of, of, of legislative funds, of capital outlay funding for this, and so that leaves a balance of $34,000. Um, that would come from general fund reserve, and I would recommend to the commission uh, approval of this proposal to SHI for the Pro Phoenix uh, CAD uh, system at $104,000 and your concurrence with the expenditure of $34,000 out of general fund reserves. Any, any questions for Mr. Barry? No. I have one on the annual support fee. Is that something that's currently budgeted now with the existing system, or is this going to be an additional fee? It is, Mayor. That's not covered by any grant funds, of course. And you do see uh, annual support fee ranging from you know around thirteen thousand dollars upwards of sixteen thousand dollars. That's something that we have uh, currently. Okay. We do pay that currently. So. Uh, that would be really a continuation. I'm sure that it's it's probably higher yeah. over the years, as you see. But uh, that's an expense that we budget for currently. All right. That's my only question. Any other questions? Good one. I actually went to their website, looked, and watched some testimonials and whatnot. It looks pretty impressive, the different things that they offer. So, cool. Mm -hmm. I'd be happy to make a motion to approve the purchase of police. Former cash utilizing CES contract 
Second. I have a motion and a second to approve the purchase of the CAD system. Is there any further discussion? Um, I, uh, I would recommend if you could uh, allow for one of staff to uh, to execute the, the documents as well. In this particular case. I have a motion to reflect that. Okay. Agreed. Agreed. All righty. So we have a motion to approve the purchase of the CAD system with the authority given to a member of staff to sign for the agreement and that. Uh, Desiree, could we have a roll call vote for this one, please? Sure. Mayor Sagata? Yes. Mayor Pro Tem Schuster? Yes. Commissioner Chavez? Yes. Commissioner Giacomo? Yes. And Commissioner Chatterley? Yes. All righty. Motion approved. Thank you. Contract mm -hmm. approved. Item E, deliberate and act on bid award for aquatic center repairs and maintenance project. Mr. Barry. Uh, Mayor Commission, this would be the second phase of aquatic center <coughs> uh, repairs and maintenance. That the, uh, what we've talked about over the past year uh, is that the aquatic center has been in operation for the last 10 years. And uh, really, I would tell you that's a, a, a continuous operation. A lot of the systems uh, really don't stop. And so we had uh, phase one, which has been completed, uh, where we replaced a number of uh, pumps, pump controls, uh, piping systems that were giving us uh, problems, and then we started working our way towards uh, the shower rooms and the dressing rooms, and we did some of those repairs in the first phase, and we learned a lot about the plumbing uh, that is behind the wall, and based on what we learned, we put together a phase two uh, request for bids that would consist of uh, more plumbing repairs of uh, leaks that we've got going behind the the uh, walls in, uh, in, in all of the changing rooms. Um, also the replacement of some uh, metal stalls, um, lighting systems, uh, security cameras for the facility, and uh, in general uh, replacement of, of things that were giving us a problem there. Now at the time uh, we didn't have really a firm uh, um, estimate of what that would cost, but we had a, a budget in mind of around $50,000, maybe north of that. Um, however, we were kind of cautioned by the bidder that uh, because of some of the things going on in the world today, some of these the equipment and materials that we had specified uh, went up significantly. Uh, and we were kind of shocked, and I think they were kind of shocked by uh, this final bid price. But the bid price is $179,000, and when you add in GRT, it's over $194,000. We were expecting in the 50, maybe $75,000 range. Uh, now, we do not have grant funds for the project. This is uh, uh, all City of Raton funds, funded by the Increment for Capital Improvements uh, dedicated to the aquatic center, um, but this is a lot of money. So you see in the recommendation from uh, staff that we would recommend uh, uh, rejecting this bid, and uh, we, we're, we're not going to do nothing after that, but I think that we would repackage the uh, procurement to, to do part of the project and move this forward, really the uh, the most serious uh, parts of it, which are leaks, plumbing leaks, uh, but we would take a lot of it, a lot of the the work out of this. Um, we think the price is just too high. It's it's well past double what we would expect it, uh, maybe close to triple. And so, uh, it's uh, I would concur with the uh, with the chief procurement officer here that we would reject this bid. Really, thank you. Any comments or questions for Mr. Berry? Yeah. Well, being in the middle of a construction project <coughs> myself, <laughs> I would say, you know, and it's wise to just uh, re-look at things and, uh, you know, the talk is that a few prices will go down, not probably down to what we want, but so I will move to reject this game. I'll second. A motion and a second to reject the bid. Is there any further discussion? Well, you know, if, it, if we had generally felt that it was around the 50000 even if you double that, this is still three times over that. So. Yeah. yeah. I agree with it. And with what we've done already, 
we don't have any issues with using the facility as is. The facility is back open again. It's operational again. Um, uh, we we do need to do some repairs, but yes, the the, the facility is fully functional at this at this juncture. Okay. I have no other questions. Any other comments? Okay. All in favor? Vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We have rejected this bid. Item F, deliberate and act on revised managed services contract with Envision IT. Mr. Berry. Envision IT is uh, our, our <coughs> firm that provides our IT services. I would say uh, they're very good. There is a, uh, an expense that goes with this, but in today's environment, you know, absolutely necessary. And so one thing you can see from the uh, amendment to managed services um, is that the the computer count has gone up and of course we've hired a couple of uh, staff members and uh, raised the count and so of course we pay per account uh, and then you see a total monthly cost uh, proposed two thousand five hundred and thirty dollars that really includes uh, the uh, 22 uh, user count s services regarding servers and data backup and so uh, would certainly recommend approval of this amendment to the managed service agreement. All righty. Questions or comments for Mr. Barry? I make a motion to approve the revised management services contract with Envision IT. I'll second it. A motion and a second to approve the amendment of the contract with services in, with Envision IT. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Mm -hmm. Adam G, deliberate and act on resolution 2021-62, budget adjustment number two, fiscal year 22. And I guess, Mr. Barry, you're up on this. Mayor Commission, when you came in tonight, you did see a revised uh, budget adjustment uh, number two, exhibit A. And in this revision, you <coughs> do see the $34,000 general fund reserve uh, uh, for the, the CAD system that we just talked about uh, reflected in this, which was not in the, in the uh, uh, copy in your packet. Uh, so that's included there now. Uh, in general, you see some uh, adjustment of funds uh, that is, comes out to be about a wash for uh, the general fund. You see uh, an adjustment regarding animal control, billing maintenance, pet food, of course, uh, there's some adjustment going on in regard to uh, zoning and court, code enforcement salaries, the community facility manager uh, salary, um, and, and then library. And then uh, see some more minor adjustments, um, but you do see uh, the cost of the <coughs> PAPI uh, project, something we talked about at the airport, the pre precision approach, plane indicator. So the total amount uh, to the contractor is uh, $60,085. Uh, as we said, it's really a pass-through uh, cost that will be paid for by uh, state aviation funding and uh, FAA funding. So um, I'll answer any questions that the commission might have uh, on this uh, budget adjustment number two. Any questions? A motion and a second to adopt resolution number 2021-62, fiscal year 22 budget adjustment number two. Is there any further discussion? All in favor, vote by the sign of aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Item H, city manager report. Mr. Barry. You know, Mayor, I've got to really apologize to Commissioner Chavez. We were moving along pretty pretty quickly in the meeting until we reached this item. But, uh, <laughs> Right, the same. Um, I did, along with a number of you, attend the Watershed and Dam Owners Conference that was held at the Ratone Convention Center uh, September 29th, uh, 30th, and October 1st. Uh, the program had focused on healthy watersheds, extreme precipitation, uh, safe operation and maintenance of dams, and how to fund those things. Uh, the speakers included Mayor Sagata. Um, Representative Jack Chatfield uh, was here, and the keynote speaker was uh, Senator Pete Campos. 
We had about 75 or 80 attendees. They came from around New Mexico and uh, a, a number of neighboring states. Uh, the conference included a tour of Maloya Dam, Seagerstrom Stream Restoration Project, uh, and Dorothy Dam, and the field trip was attended by about 40 people. So I think that was a very successful uh, convention that we brought to Rattown. Um, it, it took a couple of years to get that here, and we would like to do more meetings like that between 100 to 150 people uh, that are here for three days. So I think that's good for local business at the right time of year. And it was a good conference. Uh, I have been informed that uh, there is an agenda pending for the State Board of Finance and uh, for their October 19th meeting, and that will include their consideration of approval for the Kearney School transfer. Uh, we will also, we're also waiting for approval from the local government division, but we would expect to have that complete uh, by the end of October and come November be talking about submission of our application for EDA funding uh, for the Kearney School Project. Um, we did meet with Senator Pete Campos at Tiger Stadium this morning. Uh, in attendance was Mayor Sagada and Commissioner Chavez. Uh, we were there to support the uh, Raton Public Schools request for capital outlay for uh, track and for field improvements at that facility. And we also did have a chance to talk about uh, the needs of the city uh, in the upcoming legislative session as far as capital outlay. Specifically, the Senator is interested in the Bartlett Mesa uh, ranch acquisition, expansion of Sugar Canyon State Park, and improvements to Lake Maloya Dam. So we spent some time uh, talking about those things. Uh, our project to install electric vehicle chargers is uh, progressing forward at the uh, parking lot of the multimodal facility. Our contractor is uh, Rain Electrical Construction. They are uh, progressing with that, and I would uh, estimate that those will be operational within about three weeks. Uh, one other construction project I'll report to the Commission. Uh, Tiger Drive was closed today. Uh, BNSF was replacing the street crossing at Tiger Drive. Um, I understand that they will complete that work today, uh, but we will remain closed tomorrow and possibly for two days. Uh, Public Works will be doing street repairs related to uh, the rail crossing there, but it ought to be a much improved uh, crossing for uh, for vehicle traffic, and that's all I have, Mayor. All righty, thank you. Any other comments? Commissioner Chatterley. I'm very, I'll be very quick. Uh, I was thinking just with our different weather changing and coming on about, um, and with the different things on the agenda about emergency management, so I was looking on our website, and I was reminded that we do have the 72-hour kit information on there. There's information to help people create an emergency plan. There's stuff about winter weather safety and lots more. So I put that link on my commission Facebook page. Or you can also go under the government section, down to departments and emergency management, and you will find that information. I think it's, it's a good thing to have in your mind, especially have your car ready as we get into winter. All righty. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Commissioner Giacomo. Mm -hmm. Commissioner Chavez. Nothing. Mayor Pro Tem. I'll just second what you want to say. That's a good idea. I'll, I'll be real brief, too. Just past Saturday, myself and three other mayors were in Española. Uh, Mayor Javier Sanchez of Española, his family owns La Cocina Restaurant there. Uh, like everyone else in the hospitality industry, they are short-staffed, having trouble yeah, staying open. We got a, a wild hair in our... <laughs> in our minds during the conference and four of us mayors volunteered to go be his staff on Saturday. It was myself, Mayor Greg Hull of Rio Rancho, Mayor Nate Duckett of Farmington, and Mayor Mike Morris of Clovis. Mike unfortunately bowed out the night before. He had something come up. But we were there and uh, got a whole new appreciation for Waiter. hospitality staff, waiters and busboys and that. It's, it's work. It is absolute work. but. We wanted to bring the awareness to small businesses and that is that your city officials and leaders have not forgot you. We want to be there for you. We will help out physically if we have to. And it's something we're looking at possibly moving around in some other communities in the state. But it was 
well worth the effort. And I hope we brought some attention to folks realizing we need to provide these services and that so these businesses can survive and that. So, but it was it was it was fun. Well, good for you guys. I think that it was, was great. Good. I've got pictures if anybody wants you to see. Them. Shut them up. Yeah, All right. Congratulations. Thank you. Sunday I couldn't Did you move. Wear <laughs> we had aprons that had embroidered said uh, thanks or I can't remember what it said, you know, but it had Mayor Neil Sagata, City of Ratone, and all of that. Uh, Greg Hall was handing out uh, coffee cups that says "Keep calm, I'm the mayor." So <laughs> it was it was it was a good time. That's great. Whose idea was that? You know, I walked into the conversation a little late. Javier was uh, talking about how hard it was to stay open, and I actually think it was Greg Hall's, Mayor Hall's idea to. Volunteer. He volunteered all of us since we were standing there. So. <laughs> but it, it it came off. So I think it was a good move. It was it was very good. And I like I said, we're thinking about moving it around to some communities. Possibly maybe even here in Raton, we'll bring them up, and you guys can come pick on the mares. Oh, <laughs> sweet! <laughs> That's all I have. This meeting is adjourned. speedy <laughs> almost